Hello everyone, Cap here, and welcome back to some more Deep Rock Galactic Survivor. Well, it is something a little bit different today. I wanted to try and make a tier list for all the weapons today. Someone did suggest that in the comments under one of my videos. And I thought, hey, that is a good idea. I never really thought about it, so I'm not sure how this will end up looking. Um, but I'm also curious to see what we end up with. And before we get started, I just a quick word about myself, just in case. Um, so I finished everything. I have 100%ed the game. I beat all difficulties. I unlocked all milestones, uh, unlocked all artifacts and weapons and everything. And I've pretty much uh, tried out everything. Uh, there's still like a handful of overclocks that I want to try just for fun. But overall I do have a good idea. And I do have 64 hours in this game right now. And yeah. Should give me a decent clue, I guess of what I'm talking about. And yeah, let's try and make a list. I think you should be able to see everything. I have the list here and I also opened the Deep, Deep Rock Galactic Survivor Wiki because the tier list doesn't even have pictures, just the names and might be easier to look at the images of the weapons as well and also there are the overclocks here, which might be interesting to talk about as well, sometimes. And yeah, just having this side by side seems like a good idea. Maybe we zoom in a bit. Yeah, this should be fine. All right, let's get started. And this is the first weapon here. The Deep Core GK2, the starting weapon of the Scout with the standard loadout. Um, I think uh, this weapon uh, it does fire at the ta uh, or targets the closest enemy, which is always quite good, because uh, the closest enemies are the most dangerous enemies, and getting rid of those is usually a good idea. Uh, damage wise. I think it's alright. Um, it's not one of the strongest ones, purely from a damage perspective, but it is pretty good and can definitely be your main damage. You can even beat Hazard 5 with this uh, as your main damage. Just uh, the boss will take a bit longer, uh, I think. Also some interesting overclocks with electrical and cold. Um, so you, this can be somewhat of a support weapon as well if you want to. Though I usually prefer to just go for damage and piercing shots, that kind of stuff. And yeah, the damage, pretty good, but not insane. So let's for now put it in great. Though I kind of want to put it at the end of great or maybe at the top of good. I'm not sure yet, but I will put other weapons in front of this. Um, it's good, but not insane. Or it's great rather, but not insane. All right. Next up, the Zukov. Let's uh, go there. Okay, let's uh, maybe use the search function. Zukov, there it is. Which is uh, this one, quick firing weapon that shoots in four directions. So this is one of the two weapons that shoot in four directions. And what it comes down to is getting this one fully overclocked, because on full overclock this gets the death spiral. 200% fire rate, clip size and bullets now fire in a spiral pattern. Uh, that's visible I think on the thumbnail of this stream. I, I think I put that there together with the other weapon that also has the death spiral as the final overclock, though the name is different I think, doesn't matter. Um, this weapon is only really good with the final overclock, so this is a bit hard to rate. Um, I think before the final overclock it's like 
at the bottom of good, maybe. And with the final overclock, it's at the bottom of broken or at the top of great, something like that. Um, this can be very good, but only with the final overclock. So it's a bit awkward to raid right now. Uh, it's basically two, two different weapons in a sense. Uh, before level 18 and after level 18. So I am going to put it here at grade above this one. Other way around. I think this is a, a good spot. Also, both cold and electrical can be absolutely insane on this as well. Um, just applying one of those two effects to everything around you, since this weapon with the final overclock shoots around you in all directions. And that is quite good. Next up, the corrosive sludge pump. Oh, oh there it is. Wait, did I click on this? No, I did not. Where is it? Here it is. All right. This one, this beast here. It is quite good for a weapon that doesn't deal the best direct damage, I guess. Uh, this is to a de good degree there to apply acid. And it does that quite well though. And the damage is not terrible either. So... Overall, I find it very hard to put any of these status effect weapons in broken. But this might be the strongest of those. And I think the sludge pump goes even higher than the Zukov probably. The sludge pump is usually a good addition to pretty much any build. And... Either with low overclocks or no overclocks even, or you can also fully overclock this and it will also help you out a ton. So yeah, I would put it up here, I think. This is a, a very strong weapon. Next up, the wave cooker. There it is. Uh, I think that fire damage is probably the worst of the status effects. They did buff it recently, like a day or two ago, I think. Um, but I still think it's not quite there yet. Uh, fire damage is not insane. And I would prefer literally all other status effects. So acid, electric, cold. I think that's it. Um, yeah, fire is not great and this is not good. So in my opinion, this is pretty meh. Let's continue. M1000, where is it? There it is. This weapon is broken. This gets in the top tier here. Uh, it has such high damage right away as well. And you start out with this on the scout with the final loadout. I think it's, is it marksman or something? Does it say here anywhere? I think it's called marksman loadout or something. Marksman class mod. Um, it deals very high damage right away. And it targets the highest HP enemy, so this is a boss killer. And you usually do want at least one boss killer of sorts. Some high single target damage. Uh, and this can definitely be it. Also, the final overclocks, either you fully build for really hard damage and then go thick boy, or you get a ton of fire rate and everything else and then you can go sawn off but either of these upgrades are super strong as well just buff the direct damage so much and this one can also get knockback so it can also provide some sort of support some sort of utility and that is extremely good as well but yeah just simply the damage of this is already worth putting this into the broken tier 
Right. Continue. Let's store minigun. This is the starting weapon of the gunner, the basic gunner. And it only shoots in move direction, which is a big downside for me personally. Um, for one, I don't like it in general to have to aim in these types of games. Uh, especially not with uh, the di direction my body is looking at. I don't mind to aim with my mouse, but that's not a thing in this game. So, you need to aim with your movement and if you play on keyboard with WASD, like I am, you basically only have 8 directions to look in. And yeah, this gets a little bit hard to aim sometimes. And even if you can aim this, um, if, you, if a boss is chasing you, you need to turn around to actually hit it with this and then stand still for like a second and then run away again. This is a bit awkward to aim. I, I prefer uh, just having weapons that actually aim by themselves because they also have more uptime. So if you run away with this and the boss is behind you, this will not shoot obviously, or not at the boss at the very least. And that is a lot of wasted damage during that time. So yeah. The damage though, if you do hit, is very strong. So I'm not fully sure where to put this. Um, I think personal preference is to put it at the top of grade. Uh, you might even be... Uh, it's also reasonable to put it at the bottom of broken even, because the damage is very good. Uh, just the, the aim and everything is annoying and so annoying to me personally that I put this here. All right, the Bulldog Heavy Revolver. Where is it? Here it is. Starting weapon of the second loadout, I think, of the gunner. And this one does target closest enemy, which is not bad. However, the damage of this weapon is not too great. So in comparison, to what we talked about so far, I think it's even worse than the deep core. So yeah, it's not, not all that insane. And the overclocks, maybe the knockback is decent. Everything else is just, well, uh, piercing shots also decent, but again, the damage isn't insane. So meh. Um, however, I wouldn't put it in meh. Um, I would put it in, I guess, good. This is good. Uh, definitely, I think it's worse than deep core, so it's reasonable to put it here. Alright. Next up, the Subata 120. Which one is that again? I forgot. Ooh, uh, uh. Oh, this one. This one is quite similar in my opinion to the Bulldog. Um, though this one doesn't target closest enemy, but rather only shoots behind you. So in that sense it's a bit worse in my opinion. Uh, it can get the asset upgrade though and that is very good actually. So this single upgrade, the asset, can make it better than the Bulldog in my opinion. Other than that, it's very similar. So just because of the asset upgrade, I will put it on top of the, or above the uh, Bulldog. Um, without the asset upgrade, it's pretty much the same, or maybe even slightly weaker because it can only shoot behind, but the asset upgrade is good enough to put it slightly ahead. Next up, the flamethrower, oh no. <laughs> one more fire weapon and this one is even worse than the wave cooker in my opinion because this one uh, shoots in beams around you and they move in a, uh, in a clockwise 
rotation and they don't have a ton of range they oftentimes don't even really hit and even when they hit the damage isn't great because fire isn't great so i would actually put it down here this is the first weapon that i would i don't like at all um i also don't like the driller because of that the driller with this starting weapon it's so annoying it's so bad um yeah i don't i don't like it at all it rarely hits because of uh, little range and the rotation of the beams and all that. So yeah, and even if it does hit, it's terrible. Whatever, next. <laughs> LMG gun platform, okay. Off to something better. Where is it? Should it be up here? No. LMG. There it is. The turret, the starting weapon of the engineer with the standard loadout, is insane. It goes up here. Um, I'm not fully sure. I might switch things around later on within the tiers a little bit more. I'm not sure yet where I want to put this. This one also depends a little bit on um, upgrades, what you get. Uh, so electrical is very good, just increase damage, uh, plasma is very good, also kind of increases damage and just, um, especially with the final upgrade here, 150% fire rate and plasma, they just shoot everywhere all the time and deal insane damage, uh, but also electrical does deal is insane damage usually and these are very strong. The downside though, and that might make it a little bit less strong than the m1000 you gotta kind of stand still for them to drop they drop over time as well if you're full on charges uh, they also drop but if you really want to put them down and focus on a boss or something you gotta stand still for a bit and that's maybe a little downside but yeah overall the damage on these is insane and well, and that's also a plus side. Maybe I'll put this up here, actually, because uh, these drop and you can run away and they still shoot, obviously. Uh, so you can just run away from a boss or whatever and these still shoot and the these still kill a lot. They are very strong. So, yeah, actually, I'm putting this over the M1000 right now. I've had my strongest runs with these turrets, I think. Though M1000 as well. I, I'm not sure if I've ever lost if I went full into one of these. So, yeah. It's really good. Yeah, there's a, there's another angle to this. You can also go for the mining walls and then also plasma, for example, and then just mine everything if you if you like to go for that. If you get, for example, an early artifact with gold find or nitra find and then just mine everything with these turrets, uh, that can be insane as well. But maybe, I'm not sure if that's as reliable as just using them for full on damage. But yeah, these are very strong. Also, hello, Rev. And I didn't even say hey to <laughs> Anti and 2G. Hello, hello. Uh, all right, let's continue. Next up, the Warthog. There it is. Shoots in front of you in a steady rhythm, knocks back enemies and shoots in move direction. Yeah, uh, this is the starting weapon of the second engineer loadout. It's uh, it's not terrible, but once again, it shoots in move direction, so I personally don't like it because the aim is awkward uh, with WASD in particular. Um, however, there is a plasma upgrade, so that can negate the aim aspect of it. And also there's an upgrade to shoot in the opposite direction, so behind you. So if you get plasma and this one, the aim aspect is kind of gone more or less. And it's very good in my opinion, all of a sudden. Um, however, well, where would I put this? It's a bit hard. I, I wouldn't put this above the Zukov, I think. I, I Let's put it in between here between the deep core and the Zukov is my opinion here. Damage is pretty good and the knockback is pretty good, but once again, need it, uh, you have to aim and also get the 
overclocks to have it really good. Uh, yeah, to have it be good enough in my opinion. But yeah, in between here is decent, I think. All right, uh, next up, Deep Core PGL. Uh, I need to test that one more time, I think. The Deep Core, that's, wait, where is it? Deep Core, no, different one, Deep Core. Where is it? There it is. This is a grenade launcher. And the starting weapon of the third loadout of the engineer. And... <sighs> yeah, I'm not sure. The damage was okay, but not great. And it doesn't really have any... Um, utility, it's just damage. I honestly think it kind of goes into this category here. It's definitely better than the wave cooker because it is actual damage, direct damage that can kill something, but it's not great. Let's put it at the bottom of good or at the top of meh. I'm not sure. Either one. Put it here for now. Tactical Lead Buster is next. It is. Which is a grenade that releases bullets in a spiral pattern. And this one does actually deal surprisingly high damage. So I would put this... Ooh, this is a bit difficult. Would I pick this? So it's a bit hard to compare with the sludge pump, for example, because sludge pump is more support. This one is also more support, kind of, uh, for AOE damage, I guess. Um, would I pick this over the Zukov? I think it goes somewhere here. The damage, I think, ends up being higher than that of the Zukov, but it's less reliable because the Zukov just shoots around you and these uh, grenades just land anywhere and then shoot from there. It's very close. I think it's it's here. Either here or here. Um, personally, I would probably go for the Zukov with the overclock before I go for the uh, lead buster. But yeah, the, the damage on this is actually very good. But it's just AoE damage somewhere and not necessarily in the position where it's most important which is around you or close to you, and that's the upside of the Zukov, with the final overclock in particular. Um, and hello, cannot read your name, sorry, but thank you for the <laughs> sub. And Marvin as well. Or Marvin, Üblin, sounds German, potentially. Uh, all right, next up. The Thunderhead Heavy Auto Cannon. All right, this one is easy. Boop. This is absolutely busted. The damage on this, even level one, it's uh, level one. It uh, deletes the mini bosses on the first map, on the first stage. Uh, it's, it's ridiculous, and it one shots all the normal bugs. Already level one, <laughs> even on Hazard Five. It doesn't matter. This is so strong. And this is, this is AOE damage, because you can get piercing shots. And it is boss damage, because the damage is so high. So this does everything. Um, well, other than support, it doesn't apply any acid or anything like that. But it has so much damage and AOE damage as well in a certain direction where it shoots. It's so strong. Um, possibly the best weapon in the game. At least at the one of the top three or something. This is uh, kind of busted. I think this needs a nerf, potentially. The damage is... Always surprises me that it one-shots everything right away on level one without any upgrades. <laughs> but yeah, this is, this is very good. Uh, the one downside, um, it shoots in one direction. Uh, I think with the highest HP or something. Target's highest HP and then shoots the entire clip. 
and then you need to reload and then it targets again the the highest hp target and shoots in that direction so you kind of need to move um your body so the shots go in the correct direction but i think this aim is way easier because it can also shoot behind you um compared to like the lead storm for example which is only in front of you so this type of aim is i don't mind all that much so yeah this one is insane next firefly hunter drone that is it is the fire drone and honestly what other weapons are there it might be my favorite fire weapon however fire is bad so it's still not good but for a fire weapon this is pretty decent it deals not terrible damage so yeah this is fire drones that uh, fly around you and attack enemies and all that and set the gnome fire as well i do like it more than the wave cooker i do like it more than the deep core so i would put it here actually i think um i would prefer these weapons over a firefly drone so let's put it here but yeah for a fire weapon this is decent Next up, the Hurricane. That is. It's the Rocket Launcher. And the damage is pretty good. It can also apply fire with uh, setting the ground on fire. I don't think I've ever tested this one, to be honest. Um, but it, I mean, it deals fire damage, so whatever. Um, more rockets though and even more rockets so in the end with the final overclock it just shoots constantly all the time and damage is pretty decent it's not insane but it is good so however it just shoots wherever I'm still not fully sure how the targeting works it seems to pick at random pretty much whatever is in range and so it's not directed damage, it doesn't really clean out a path. It's also not really AoE, I don't think the, the AoE radius of the impacts are all that big. So I think damage wise is good, but it doesn't really clean out much. Uh, I think it goes into the bottom of great or top of good. Actually top of good, I would pick it over the Subata or Bulldog. But possibly not over any of these. Also, I kind of want to put the Bulldog, uh, the Warthog down one. I like the Deep Core more because of the targeting. Alright, like this, I guess. I'm actually now looking at this. I'm not sure. The Tactical Lead Buster and the Hurricane. I don't have the numbers right now. I think this deals more damage, so it should be here. But otherwise, these can be compared, kind of. Because they just deal random high damage to units, pretty much. Oh, yeah, I think this is fine. I think this was stronger. Alright. Um, let's continue. Arms core coil gun A. Today's video, I think. And hello. <coughs> hello. Raymond or Ramon uh, can make a video about build ranks. I could do that, though I would have to define what builds are. I usually don't go for like planned out, okay, before the run I don't think, okay, I want to go for these four weapons and with these overclocks and everything. It's kind of hard to plan builds in this because it's all random <laughs> what weapons you get and all that stuff um but i guess something like that close to that i could do i would need to think about that though what i would define as a build and also they ha would have to be achievable um maybe i guess i don't know i i need to think about that but yeah thank you for the suggestion and hello shiro how's it going did I play Heroes of Neverth, or however you pronounce that? Uh, I did at some point. Um, not too much though. Just like, I don't know. Played it with a couple of friends. 
20 years ago <laughs> or 15 years ago rather i think 15 years ago or so i did play it with a couple of friends <clears throat> for i don't know a couple of weeks <clears throat> Um, it was very fun though. I did enjoy it a lot when I played it with friends at the very least. I didn't play it solo, only played it with friends. Guten Abend. Alright, let's continue though. Uh, Arms Kolgan, today's video. Um, I'm still not sure the damage numbers might be incorrect. <laughs> However, it did seem insane, purely from a damage perspective. In a sense, I would compare the damage to the damage of the Tactical Lead Buster, because it's just uh, a lot of AoE damage, kind of randomly in all kinds of spots, more or less. Um, however, it's just more damage. It's also better than the Zukov, for sure. I think I would put it here, below the Corrosive Sludge Pump, because that one applies Acid, and Acid is just OP. It's just so good for everything else. Um, the damage here is insane, but I do prefer weapons that actually remove enemies from the screen. And this one doesn't really do that. It deals a ton of damage, but it doesn't usually just single-handedly kill everything. Um, so these other weapons are better for cleaning up bugs and for creating space and so to help you to not take damage basically. A good offense is the best defense, kind of, um, and yeah. So these four weapons do direct damage pretty much and delete bugs from the screen. Uh, so they are at the top and then the others come here. Uh, Armscore Colgan extremely strong, but I think Acid is probably still stronger. So yeah, putting it here. Impact X is next. Impact. Oops. There it is. This one. I'm oftentimes when I play it. I'm a bit annoyed by it <laughs> because it does have knockback and it does have a lot of knockback actually. Um, it it has, I don't know, I f it feels like the biggest knockback in the game. Uh, they do move quite a lot, the bugs that is, when they get hit, hit by this. And unfortunately, oftentimes the bugs get pushed into your direction or into your path or even worse, right into you. And that does happen regularly with this. Like every stage I get hit once or twice by this axe pushing a bug into me. And that's actually so annoying <laughs> and so bad. So I basically pay, uh, play every stage with 50 less HP or something because I have this weapon. That's so annoying. However, it does deal good damage, and other than that, the pushback is good if it doesn't go into your direction. Um, so... Kind of want to put it at the bottom here, I think. Is it better than Hurricane? Maybe not, actually. Maybe it goes here. It's difficult for me. This 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 area here with Harry Kane and Warthog, Deep Core. Uh, it's somewhere over here. I'm not fully sure. Hmm. Let's put it at the top of good, maybe. Maybe it's better than Harry Kane. Maybe not. Okay, let's put it here. We put it here because it is annoying with the pushback. That's what you deserve. <laughs> All right. Next. Neurotoxin Grenade. Okay, this one is really hard. I am not sure how to do this. So this one applies poison, or acid rather, and acid is insane. That is also the reason why the corrosive sludge pump is here. That being said, the grenade's definitely worse than the sludge pump, 
pure damage wise and also um yeah the sludge pump applying around you is more important i think than wherever the grenades land and yeah just in general dps wise sludge pump also ends up higher all the time than the grenades so this is good still because it applies acid so it or it's great rather it, get, it gets into this tier i think I would pick this over the hurricane because of the acid. Uh, where would I put this in here though? I might even pick it over the tactical lead buster simply for the acid effect, but it, it goes here. It's not better than the Zukov or the arms core. I still would prefer these. All right, I think this is a good spot. Next, shredder swarm grenade. Okay. I am unsure about this one. I kind of need to test it again once they fix the bug with this. Um, so I did a video about this one and at the very least the animation was bugged, but maybe even not just visually, maybe it was also um, not dealing as much damage as it should because the drones that get released from this grenade uh, did bug out and just, I don't know, rubber band through or across the screen pretty, pretty much. So they might have not attacked as much as they were supposed to. Damage was alright, but not insane. So yeah, I'm not sure. This might change when they fix this, but for now... I think this is, uh, the hurricane is better than this, I think. Um, Impact X might also be better than this. Let's put it here, I think. Would we'll pick it over these. Yeah, I think this is fine. All right. There is the next one, the burst fire gun. The next one that does the What's it called? Death Spiral stuff. Where is it? Burst. There it is. Uh, it's actually called Bullet Helix on this weapon. So this one also shoots in four directions. And it's very similar to the Zukov. So it also goes here. Um, I'm not sure. I think I had both of them once together and I think the Zukov dealt considerable more damage, but I also got the Zukov earlier. So yeah, if I had to rank these two, this one probably below the Zukov, maybe also because the Zukov can have electrical upgrade and electrical is very good and also ice. So yeah, the Zukov is actually better, period. Looking at this. I think the Zukov is just better because of the overclocks than the burst fire gun, even though they basically have the same final overclock. All right. Next up, the cryo cannon. I still need to test a full on cryo build, but this is, I always pick this up or something like this. I would pick up as the fourth weapon as pure support basically when I already have good damage and maybe even already have acid as well then I kind of like cold as the final one possibly uh, so I would pick this when it shows up on on the fourth weapon selection uh, somewhat regularly however Cold is nice and all, but this one is basically attacking the same way as the flamethrower. So with like beams around you that don't have the biggest range and also go clockwise or counterclockwise or something around you. So they, the, the targeting of this is not great and they don't hit all that nicely. Um, there are better cryo weapons. So let's... However, it's still a cryo weapon that I would pick up. So I guess 
Uh, it's hard to compare all of this because this is pure support and some of these are just damage and all that but I guess I would put it here below the swarm grenade but it depends if it shows up on on the fourth weapon selection together with swarm grenade or something I would still pick this probably because I want the uh, the cold damage but yeah let's just put it here for now I might still switch it around let's uh, continue for now the Viper Drone, here it is. This one is very good. And I would actually put it below the Sludge Pump, I think. It's also very good consistent acid application and deals decent damage as well, similar to the Sludge Pump. So yeah, I guess putting these kind of close together makes sense. Uh, this is the best drone in my opinion the acid drone because acid is the best and also just pure damage wise dps wise this is also the best of the drones i found and yeah goes here i think next is the plasma charger and type plasma Charger, there it is. This one is a yeah plasma weapon, of course. Shoots large ball of plasma that bounces on terrain. Targets groups of enemies. Alright. This is just pure damage and pure AoE damage. Um, it does deal damage to a lot of enemies because the plasma balls just move through enemy groups and then deal damage. So, and the damage is pretty good of this as well. I would compare it to the tactical lead buster. So, where would I put this? Probably here or here. I, I think it's better than the tactical lead buster. It's a ton of damage that can also be somewhat directed. Um, if you go into like, if you make a tunnel and then these shoot and bounce on the walls all the time and kind of stack up, they can deal a ton of damage even to high health targets. So yeah, I think this is better than the lead buster, but also belongs over here somewhere. All right, next, voltaic shock fence. This is the Tesla Tower, which is quite good. So I like it for multiple reasons. Um, for one, on level 6, it has the... where is it? This one. Magnetic Alloy. Turrets will now pick up nearby XP and materials. That can be uh, very nice. Also, turrets slow nearby enemies. I, I'm not sure I ever got this upgrade on this tower. That's actually very, very good as well. So yeah, the, the overclocks on this are very strong and very useful. It's a very good support turret, I guess. And also damage-wise, usually it deals pretty good damage as well, but mainly just the support, applying electrical and the magnet and possibly even slow stuff is very good. Where would I put this? Honestly, in between here. <laughs> Acid is better, I think, or maybe? Hmm. Would even go here, though? Because it does have very good support. Actually, I'm putting it here. This is good. Um, yeah. Also, it's turrets. They can kind of stack up in a certain spot where you need them. And I think that is fine. Alright. Continue with the smart rifle. That is. This one. 
goes here. <laughs> I need to test it maybe one more time. Give it one proper test, I guess, to to close out this chapter. But every time I tried it, it is absolutely terrible. And I feel like it is because the developers might have thought, oh, this is kind of a AOE weapon or something. Uh, so it targets multiple enemies, but it only targets, I don't know, six targets or something. And it shoots so slowly as well. And it's not actually AOE, it's just multi-target. So like, I think it's six targets or something at a time. So even if there are 50 bucks in front of you, they don't, this one does only hit six and that's not damage. And the damage on this per shot is also not good. So it always ends up being absolutely trash. I don't know, it's very weird. I feel like it's designed to be an AOE weapon from the damage uh, it deals and the slow attack rate. But it only attacks six targets or something, and then, yeah, it's absolutely terrible. I hate it. Alright, next up, the Breach Cutter. Another plasma weapon. It's very much comparable to the... where is it? Experimental Plasma Charger. It's almost the same, pretty much. Uh, this one shoots two bouncing plasma balls and they co get connected by a beam in between. While... Zenical, thank you for the sub. While the Experimental Plasma Charger only shoots like uh, one plasma ball at each time and only the ball deals damage and not the... There's no beam in between. So this just has more area that it covers so i think this is better overall i don't have the numbers but i did feel very similar damage wise so i would prefer this just because it covers more ground but damage wise it's quite similar also wait yeah this one can also shock was it the same with the other one uh, doesn't matter though, won't change anything. Uh, this one is a little bit better than the experimental plasma charger, I think. And shard diffractor. Also somewhat similar because it's plasma. All plasma is somewhat similar. Because plasma deals quite a bit of damage. All plasma weapons deal good damage. And oftentimes they have some overclocks that can apply like slow or shock or something. Um. This one, though, seems to be the best of these. So it does go definitely above the Breach Cutter. I'm not sure it might even go higher because this one deals a lot of damage and the Slow, for example, can be very good as well. And it can also deal very good damage against bosses because the beams can stack up. The, the yeah, multiple beams and they bounce and can hit multiple times. Actually, I want to put it here. Uh, I think it's hmm, might be better than the co uh, coil gun because it does deal damage to bosses as well quite nicely. It's I think it goes here somewhere here or here. Okay, let's let's leave it there for now. Next up. Plasma uh, Burster. This is the uh, grenade, the plasma grenade that deals damage on every bounce. And this one mm, didn't feel as strong as the other ones because it's less reliable. Uh, it's less all over the place. Uh, so I would actually put it at the bottom of the here at the bottom of the plasma weapons might even yeah it's even worse than the tactical lead buster i think would put it here yeah i think this is fine okay also i might need to 
thin this out. Not everything can be in great. <laughs> I will do that at the end, maybe. Let's continue for now. Cryo grenade. Where is it? Cryo grenade is possibly what else is there? I think it's the best cryo weapon. Uh, I did actually just uh, do it yesterday, I think, in the stream. Uh, fully overclocked it, and not only did it freeze everything and all over the place, especially with the splits into three weaker versions and all that, and explosion radius, it was everywhere. Um, it also dealt a lot of damage. It was actually, I think, my top damage dealer as well at the same time. So I'm, I was positively, positively surprised by that one. So, this goes, it is support and deals damage, so it goes, where is it? Maybe even here, below the Viper Drone, because uh, Acid is still better than Cold in my opinion, um, but it's very strong, Surpri surprisingly strong, so I put it up here. All right. Continue. Incendiary grenade. Hmm. They did a buff fire damage and all that, but still this is fire damage and fire damage is uh, still not great. This used to look absolutely busted like three weeks ago or something or two weeks ago uh, because the damage numbers were wrong and this looked like it dealt insane amounts of damage, but it actually didn't. And they fixed that, and now it's meh. And I actually put it in meh as well, I think. Uh, I don't like it all that much. It can deal some decent AoE damage and fire damage and all that, but... Actually, it's better than the deep core, though, I think. Uh, but worse than the Firefly Hunter drone. Yeah, I would put it here, to be honest. Not, not my favorite. Okay, continue. A bug taser. Um, I think I only fully overclocked it once, and it that did deal surprisingly low damage actually, even though I had it at level twenty one or something. Uh, it does apply electrical to everything though. It did have a lot of beams and did attack basically everything on the screen. But didn't really do damage. So it's just electrical application I guess. And for that I would just prefer other weapons. So mm, yeah I don't like this one as much. It still has, has a status effect that's kind of useful. Would pick it probably over like Swarm Grenade, Impact X, maybe even over Hurricane. Maybe put it here at the top of good. Next up, the Voltaic Stun Sweeper. This one, on the other hand, much better in direct comparison because this one also does have the XP pickup tech, the magnet tech, and that is very good, especially if combined with the plus 50% weapon range, and maybe even with the final overclock, throw an additional stun sweeper in the opposite direction, so you basically throw them in all directions all the time pretty much, and just pick up everything, uh, XP wise, and also minerals that are on the ground. Um, yeah, this is, uh, I really like this as a support weapon, I oftentimes just get it and um, level it to 6, in, in the hopes that I get the Magnet upgrade as like my third or maybe even my fourth weapon. I do like it quite a lot. And I would put it... Hmm, where would I put it? Near the Shock Fence, because it's kind of similar. I personally actually would pick this over the shock fence though. Might not be better, but I personally just like it more because, uh, I don't know, I like to move around a lot, I guess. And the turrets 
kind of better for stationary stuff. Not sure. It's just my my pick rate is higher on this weapon than it is on the shock fence. So let's just pick this. Maybe this could actually be the entire premise of this list. Uh, my pick rate. <laughs> Uh, though I do pick based on strength as well, so yeah, it's kind of a mix of both, I guess. Alright, uh, continue. Uh, we are getting to the last remaining eight weapons. HE grenade. I explosive grenade. It is a grenade. <laughs> and... Yeah, I, I don't really like grenades for damage. I'd like grenades for support. So the cryo or the acid grenade. Where is it? Ne a neurotoxin grenade. I do like those a lot. But just for damage, this is too inconsistent. Um, if I want some AoE damage, I would prefer these all the plasma weapons that just are everywhere and bounce everywhere and all that stuff. Uh, I don't like the explosions all that much, so I would actually put it below the Hurricane, below the Impact Axe, I think, below the Swarm Grenade as well, below Cryo Cannon, I guess here, or even lower. I would, honestly, I would pick also the Firefly Hunter Drone over this. Okay, Incendiary Grenade or this? I think actually the incendiary grenade. <laughs> so I will put it here. Above the deep core, above the grenade launcher, because these are kind of similar. They are just, they are almost the same actually. They explode. Just uh, ba base explosion damage here from these both. And I would prefer the incendiary for the fire over this. So yeah, not, not great, not great. Uh, though I gotta admit, this one? Oh, here's that upgrade. Uh, that's... Okay, I need to write this down. I want to try this one more time. Fully overclocked. And there is a weird final overclock on this one. Enemies run away in fear. I have not done this before. So I need to test this, actually. Um, so take take my rating of this one with a, with a hint of salt. Um, maybe this is good. Though I heard that this might be a little bit bugged and enemies do not run away from you all the time. Sometimes they run into you. <laughs> That's what I heard about this upgrade. And that would also make it bad. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, I put it here for now. But I want to test this upgrade at some point. Rain of salt. Did I say that? Did I say something else? Enemies run into you in fear. That is correct. Next one. Uh, plasma Carbine. Where is it? Plas... Oh, Hint of Salt. Ah, uh, that works too. I assume. Um, where is it? Plasma Carbine. Okay. This one is pretty good. Uh, might be one of the stronger plasma weapons because it can also be pretty good against bosses in my opinion or from my ex experience. I think it's near the top of the plasma weapons. I think I would put it here above the coil gun and below the shard defractor. Yeah, I think this is the perfect spot. Shard defractor is just insane damage I think. And this is pretty good as well. But not quite. Um, yeah. But it's better at cleaning up enemies than the coil gun. Because the coil gun just deals AoE damage to everything. And this hits the closest enemies. Because the projectiles bounce off of the enemies. So yeah. This is uh, a bit better to clean up. So I like this more. High Volt Thunderbird. It applies electrical. Other than that, it's pretty bad. It's not good damage or anything. 
Uh, so what else do we have that applies electrical? So I would compare it to the bug taser, but it's actually worse because it applies electrical way worse than the bug taser does. So this is not great. I actually would pick the Firefly Hunter drone over this. Um, I might pick this over the incendiary, I guess, because I don't like the incendiary. <laughs> uh, also for the reason that incendiary does so much fire on the ground and everything that hurts my eyes. Uh, so I'm putting this here. The uh, boomstick is next. That is relatively easy. It is insane. It goes in the broken tier. Um, it does have knockback, it can get electrical or cold, and it deals good damage also. So yeah, this is very good. And it targets closest em enemy, I think. Doesn't say here anywhere. Uh, I think it targets closest enemy. So it pushes away the closest enemy, which is insane, and deals damage. It can actually kill bosses, so it's good damage against bosses as well. Uh, yeah, this is insane. This is very good. This has multiple... This fills multiple roles at the same time, so it's very, very good. Actually, I would put this above the M1000, I think. And the gun platform kind of depends as well. I almost like this more than the gun platform. Because the gun platform is only really good if you focus the upgrades on this and fully overclock and everything. The boomstick is even good at just level 6 or level 12 or something. So actually I want to put this here, simply because of that fact. So you can fully overclock this and go hard into this and it's great. Or you can pick this up as a support as well and just get it to 6 or something and it's still very good. So yeah, this gives uh, the boomstick the edge in my opinion over the platform or the M1000. Alright. Raka Toa Sentinel. Uh, it is alright. It is fire damage, so obviously it's already bad. However, it is at the top of the fire damage, or near the top. So, I'm honestly not sure. I, I'm not sure if I ever tested the Firefly Hunter drone and the Krakatoa Sentinel in one run together to compare the DPS. Um, these are very close together in my opinion. Probably. But yeah, I would need to test these together in one run to figure out what actually deals more damage. Let's go for the Sentinel a bit higher because it's a turret and can deal damage behind you while you run away, I guess. It's a bit, little bit of an upside. Okay, yeah, let's let's do it like this. It's actually possibly the best fire damage weapon. All right, now for this weapon, the Danka Bolt Shark. This one is broken. I just did a video on this today for tomorrow, so it will release tomorrow. Uh, it can apply acid and electrical right away. So double status effect, this is unique. N no other weapon can apply two status effects right away. And it has upgrades for fire and cryo as well. And knockback. This weapon can do everything. This is the support weapon in my opinion. The best support weapon. So if you start out with... Uh, whatever as your first weapon that deals a lot of damage i don't know the m1000 or something then get this second and yeah focus on those two weapons and you're good uh, this does everything every 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 support that you need this weapon can do so this is insane this might even be better just because you can fit it in basically every build um almost want to put it here actually this is better support than the boomstick, I guess, because it also... Yeah, I, I think I put it here, actually, at the at the top. 
just behind the Thunderhead. Thunderhead is too broken because of the damage. It just deletes everything. And deleting everything is better than applying status effects to everything. Alright. Seismic Repulsor. This weapon is broken. <laughs> Okay, we finally got some more up here. And uh, this is very strong as well. The pushback of this and the attack speed it uh, applies the pushback with is insane. So... I would put it at the bottom though of broken, I think. Uh, the other ones just, yeah, more damage or better, better support, I guess. Uh, but this one is also very, very strong. It's, it goes up here. Uh, these turrets just push back everything around them with very fast attack speed, like boom, 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 boom. I, I don't know, it's so quick. And nothing can get to you pretty much when you stand near these. Um, and they deal decent AoE damage as well. So, yeah, they are very strong. Good support. However, only knockback. They don't apply status effects or anything. So I guess that's why they are uh, at the bottom here of broken at the bottom of broken <laughs> all right final weapons stubby voltaic smg this one does deal decent damage and applies electrical also it's this weird overclock i did this once uh, in one of my earlier videos on this game it can kind of apply some, yeah, some type of electrical explosion to your turrets and everything. Whatever else you put down on the map, like turrets, I think only turrets actually, or stationaries, whatever, like uh, the LMG turret or the electric fence or stuff like that, uh, can get shot by this weapon and then it explodes in electrical damage, I think. That's what this does, which is kind of cool. Um, also, this shoots nearby enemies, which is always the best. Nearby enemies is the best targeting there is. And it's very good, consistent damage. It is electrical damage. Uh, it's very good. I think this is one of the stronger weapons for sure. Um, I would put it somewhere up here. It's not broken, but it is on the t at the t or near the top of great. Actually, I like it more than the lead storm. I put it at the top of great actually, because I don't like the targeting <laughs> of lead storm. Uh, target closest is the best. All right, I think I'm actually fine with this. Uh, was considering maybe repositioning a bit, but I think it ended up kind of like a good. Um, distribution I guess decently uh, split up between the different tiers and yeah this feels good maybe there are like singular things that I could adjust but I don't want to go everything again so I think this is pretty pretty close to my final list here all right GG's um, cool, cool. I guess? What now? <laughs> I could actually grab some lunch now. Uh, so maybe I end the stream here. Uh, just uh, have this stream as a separate seg a segment, basically, just for this tier list. And now we are done with this. Uh, I might stream some more later today. I need some food, though. And maybe I will be back and do some more runs. But I'm not sure yet. Maybe, maybe not. Um, anyways, thank you guys for being here. Uh, also, Tincho, hello and goodbye <laughs> because I'm leaving. But yeah, uh, thank you everyone for being here. Um, I hope I could give you a little bit of insight maybe. Or maybe you disagree with some pieces here. Um, let me know. Ideally, let me know in the comments under this um, and I will look at it later. I already saw like one or two comments during the live stream. I didn't really acknowledge because I just wanted to get this done. 
um but yeah i would love to hear your feedback as well uh, if you have anything you do fully disagree with uh, let me know in the comments and i will check it out and uh have some more to think about maybe but i i am quite confident in this list uh, that's what worked for me and i beat everything and i think this is uh, quite quite solid all right thank you guys for watching and i hope you have a great rest of your day i might or might not see you again later uh with another stream not sure yet but yeah take care everyone bye